Yo, welcome back. We are live. We welcome. are live. It's Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So me and Miss Alice from Matula are back for Monday Alice. Cinema Club. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? Hi, everybody. My name is Alice Rahmatula. For my Chinese fans, hi, 大家好，我叫 Alice. For my Oilers fan, Yashin Slabzum, Kinokovum, Zakaynala, Kachalmas. And for everybody, hey, what's up? What's it's up? It's Auntie and Alice. Wow, Welcome Danny, what's going on? I saw someone club. from the UK. How are you doing? For all the people in the UK, I just say hello. Oh, wow. Hi. Doing? Proper English. Hello. Top hello. of the day to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Monday Cinema Club. For people that don't know what this is, um, we basically, we've been stuck in COVID like everybody else in the pandemic and the lockdown, and we've been watching a lot of movies, mm -hmm. and since we're both filmmakers, mm -hmm. actors, writers, directors, producers, mm -hmm. we just started watching a lot of movies, and we decided we would uh, watch movies with you. So, yeah. it's, it's just like, like a, a book club, right. and then everybody just like um, watch the movie in advance, and then we're just gonna like like chit chatting. Just grab your popcorn or wine, whatever you prefer, and we can just talk about what you think, what you don't like, what you do like, kind of stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, actually, we watched. This week, uh, what is this week what's more than one movies. But we, the movie that we're watching. Today we're gonna discuss the movie we watch. It's Big Easy. The Big Easy. I'm I'm putting it on the screen right now for okay. people to okay to see what the heck You're we're doing. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking. No, this one might look strange during the <laughs> playback. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> um. So. For people that watch the Big Easy, we'll be just bringing you guys in to come and talk about it with mm -hmm. us. Um, but we'll just kick off the conversation. This is the Big Easy. It was last week it was between uh, Body Heat and the Big, and Big Easy. Easy. You guys chose Big Easy, so we we're watching the Big Easy. So this is a 1986 movie. Yeah. I don't know if it was a classic or not, but it, my memory of it was like it was pretty classic in my mind as I guess as a young guy, young actor, because. Um, I think it's pretty much what made Dennis Quaid a star. Like Dennis mm -hmm. Quaid was rising at that time, and mm -hmm. this movie, he was like had a lot of star quality and played a young detective. So mm -hmm. the, the 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 tagline of the movie is a uh, corrupt lieutenant in the the homicide division is threatened by the righteous DA while trying to solve a string of mystery, mysterious murders. So, but the real cool thing about it is it takes place in Louisiana. So everyone's kind of like on this whole creole. Hey, Shad. It's like, and it's cool to see these actors that are like kind of doing Has it. Has that accent? Right. Well, there's, there's actors doing it, like you know, Dennis Quaid or amazing cast, mm -hmm. Ned Beatty, John Goodman, mm -hmm. um, a host of others, along with of course Ellen Barkin, which mm -hmm. was the beginning of her career, and she became a really big actress. Mm -hmm. um, you know, really powerful dr uh, uh, drama actress. She's on the show Kingdom right now, but um, there's so many things that I loved her in from like a sea of love with al pacino mm -hmm. um what's the DiCaprio movie a boy that keep but we'll talk about so and so around. but this movie nominated for edgar award for best motion picture uh screenplay independent spirit award for best director and independent spirit award for best feature film so and so and then so what so got nominated for a lot of things yes and uh, directed by uh jim mcburn McBride. McBride. And written by Daniel Petrie Jr. Um, so it was a cool, I liked it. I, well, let's, talk, let's talk about the movie. Um, the other movie I was talking about, Ellen Barkin, is This Boy's Life, Leonardo DiCaprio and, and uh, De Niro. So she's like a heavy hitter actress. You can see it even as a young actress, how strong she was as an actress. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, just what I like. Well, you want to talk first? Yeah, go for it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you checking up on I'm me? I'm just double checking. I ain't trying to step on nobody's toes out here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, yes, we were talking about it. So, it, yeah, Emma Barkin's face is not as pretty as other stars. Of, I think well, that's what you're talking about. She's pretty. She was sexy to me. She's sexy. There's a sexiness about her for me. Mm -hmm. Yo, uh, Zay Hammond went to the Long Dead Fire, Lord Zuko. Thank you so much. Hot hey, Ship 278. What's up? Dennis Dude Dennis says, Dude. hi to you. <laughs> well, there's so many Yo, people Diane, saying hi to you. Yo, Diane, I'm saying hi to you. Walking Pumper, what's Everybody, up? I'm saying hi to you guys. <laughs> Alice <laughs> is here too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, pretty dressed, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she got the polka dots rocking. Um, 
<laughs> but the movie, The Big Easy, it's a cool, it's very 80s. The music was super 80s. 80s. Um, and it's one of those kind of cop dramas that you, that you grew. I grew up mm-hmm. watching, especially mm-hmm. in the 80s and 90s. Um, and so it wasn't like new in that sense. The, the flavor that was different was this whole New Orleans flavor and this Creole flavor and this kind of like really swaggered out, mm-hmm. you know, cop, white mm-hmm. dude. That was like so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was just kind of cool. He's like Gandit from mm-hmm. uh, Marvel Comics, you know, from the X-Men. He's like the Gandit character mm-hmm. from New Orleans. So he has that thing. And Dennis Quaid is just kind of like a tour de force kind of role. You can see him as a young actor being holding down this movie and being mm-hmm. really smooth and suave and a lot of swag and just charm. And uh, really, you know, the sex sex scenes or the sex, like the, the, the chemistry was really palpable Mm -hmm. and he was just really fluid with like all the things he was doing and then he had a great cast surrounding him like Ned Beatty. I will say he has a game. His game. Yeah. You can see his game when he's doing it and he's doing it and he's funny. There's like that kind of funny charming stuff he's doing and Mm -hmm. then the drama and then Mm -hmm. of course I I love a good crime movie, good Mm -hmm. crime book, Mm -hmm. um, whodunit kind of thing and a little twist at the end, so I was like, ah, oh, it was fun. I mean, I don't know if it was the greatest movie in the world, but I still had such I a mean, great time watching it again. Exactly. So pers- my perspective is, first of all, I enjoyed it. It's entertaining. It's fun. And then um, this is the first film I feel like the character um, and the storyline, it makes sense. The, the this is the story- first film you ever watched that makes sense? I mean, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me. You tried to put me on the spot. You just said it's the first film. No, I said this is the first film. Like, like this character and the storyline, it's drags like it's same level. Like some of the film we watch is this, there is a strong character, but the storyline it's not that really strong. But the character driven story, the movies. Some of the movies it's really like storyline is very very like strong storyline but the character you like you don't really know that character you know what i mean you, you know exactly what i mean why do you try hard to just give you. me a rough time i'm just teasing every you. monday 3 p.m i'm just teasing you don't be so loud you're yelling it's my apartment I'm not. <laughs> so did you like the movie of course i liked it i liked the character i liked the storyline i liked the director uh try to put the spotlight on this in this in this uh in this narrative area like like you know people a lot of people saying like cops whatever like it's a bad or good people has a different opinion but corrupt gonna, corruption 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 we'll is see co- that. Cop corruption in this movie and then this is a funny cute thing is this this uh corrupted cops to change and make changes because of this he fall in love with this woman yeah she's woman a ch- cover and she happens to be in <laughs> internal affairs or something, right? She's like investigating exactly. cops. So there's a whole so, conflict in there. And exactly, she's, the conflict. And then she just literally like... She's kind of like a square, nerdy cop. And she gets... She gets... It's not seduced, but she nerdy? gets... the 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 Ellen Barkin. She kind of square. Like she's like not good with guys and all that kind of stuff. Remember she says that in the movie? I mean, in the sex? She's not good at the sex, she said. Yeah. But she's good at the... He like, said, we can work on that. No, she said, no, he said, what was the, that's one of my favorite lines in my life. She's like, I'm not so lucky, lucky with sex. And he was, what did he say? No, he said, this luck is about to change. Oh, I so said, your luck is about to change. This luck is about to change. Yeah. But it's, some great I know, lines in it like is that. like, it's super like makes sense. And then it's sassy. She's sassy too. She has a, like strong character, strong like personality. And she's a rough, tough girl. And then as soon as she saw this person and then the chemistry comes in and she become like little weak. She can't resist his approach. He, she can't resist his aggressive um, uh, uh, like like games. She's like, oh fuck, like I got this trap again, but it's so cute. She hate him at the same time. She loves him. So it's just hate and love comes in. That's all relationships, man. That's how relationships work. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, they hate you, but they spe- love you. <laughs> they love you, but they hate you. Yeah, I, I feel They that, hate that they love you. Exactly. I feel that sometimes they just want to grab or something, just smash that person's face. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being so aggressive? 
Yeah. I'm just teasing. <laughs> so let's just get down to it. You look. Um, I have to say up front that I'm got. We got to cut out a little early today, like quarter till four, because uh, I have to do an online event for University of Pennsylvania tonight, mm -hmm. which I got to go run to right after this. So. Um, so that's why we don't have a VIP guest. We don't have a VIP, yes. VIP guest, but we're gonna bring you guys in. So we're gonna bring. Before we bring people in, in, I mean, I see a lot of Zutara, I see a lot of Katang, I see a lot of people fighting about relationships from my cartoon characters. Oh really? Yeah, it's called ships. I don't know. All ships are good. Don't fight. Enjoy, enjoy your uh, shipping. Don't fight about it. Don't fight. It's about all good. It. Just love. Just love. <laughs> it's just love. <laughs> but before we bring people in, um, let's. Just, I want to ask you what are your favorite moments in the, what's your favorite moment in the film moment or the scene film. or character? My favorite mo moment in the film is like, I like, because of my personality, I think. So I just kind of like that type of the guys. Like, uh, when what she, type of guys you like? We're going to get there later. Don't worry about that part. We're gonna <laughs> um, when she was running, <clears throat> she was sweating out like she was running in the park and then the cops just pulled in mm -hmm. and just like kind of like harassing type but it's arrested her or I don't know she, he just took her to that party thing going Cause he on because he got off he got off of that trouble and he but at the same time he wants this girl he wants to with this girl like he likes her so he was like Go grab that girl. She probably in somewhere walking, whatever. And then when she comes out the car, what do you want for me? And she was so pissed off. She's I do love like, that scene too. She's so pissed off because she's she can't she's believe. She's sweating. She's sweating. She's like run because she's red. She running. was a mess. She was a mess. But she was a mess. This guy just grabbed her when like proper. I mean, it's just like literally at this time. Like for example, this is like present time. You literally like shows up when you're. Uh, yoga pants in the cocktail party. It's just so awkward that moment she hates oh it so God, bad. Oh my God, you think about what she's wearing? But I mean, but I mean he's so aggressive. He's like super she's like kind of sassy and he's like cocky. That? He's cocky, like personality. I feel like so, oh my God, that this is so real. Yes, Dante, yes. And actually Alice was my favorite scene too. Oh yeah. Not that part, but that later on. Are you sure? The favorite moment. I thought your favorite moment was like there in the bed scene, and she was like, "I'm not really lucky with that." Well, you won't get like... change your look, Shay. <laughs> I like how they say share all the time. Like, what's up, Shay? So cool. Like, it makes he, he have one of them vibes. Like, you wish he was from New Orleans and like was hip to like that lingo and that swing. I mean, of course, there's a lot of actors pretending to do it, and then there's like the girl, the woman who plays his mother, who mm -hmm. who just acted later on for years i believe mm -hmm. she was in big love and she's just like real. You can tell, she's real like you yeah. can tell like that woman is a real new orleans woman, woman. that's like that crazy. accent is real is um, that just like me trying to doing british accent okay well, but i'm saying the moment <laughs> let's not do accents now let's not start doing accents <laughs> now can we not <laughs> hey, um darling. love lovey lovey okay lovey. stop it stop lovey that's it Let's let's bring more people in, Lovey. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the moment that I Lovely. like the scene is further when she gets to the party, and then you know, so uh, the character that Dennis Quaid is playing gets off of this case that she's trying to bust him for being corrupt, and he he was being corrupt, but then he got out of it, and so he's he has this thing where he's, he got out because he fell in love with the girl. No, but he also got out because well, he, he, he got he got a lot of. No, I'm talking about when he got off. Oh yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go the case. He has a lot of family in the force, and he yes. knows a lot of people, and he was able to kind of. That's his out. town. That's his town. That's his town. That's his hood. Like, yeah, that's, that's his hood. Yeah, so it's like. But the that's... moment that I'm telling you that I can't tell you the moment I like. <sighs> sure. <laughs> How's it feel? When he starts singing, he's on guitar and they're singing, and she's like on the porch Party and she's scene? so mad at him. She's like, "What the fuck am I doing here?" Exactly. She's and then good. he's like, starts singing to her. So good, so, so was, cute. And he's just like smiling at her, singing to her. And then he gets on a dance floor. And he dance. acts like nothing happened. And he dances with her. I love that. I love Me when too. bad boys get off. Oh yeah. I like the bad boys get out of trouble. Can we? Bring That's my favorite part. In? <laughs> when bad like boys guys more get aggressive. out of trouble. Uh, no. <laughs> with shit getting grin on their face. Do you wish that? Do you wish that? I've I wish I could get out of trouble. I've got out of trouble. Well, you're gonna bust your ass. I'm lucky. 
I don't think so. I'm born the year the rabbit. Uh, we'll see. Okay, let's bring people. <laughs> so let's bring people in here. If you watch the movie this week, um, we have a time. Like I said, we have a half hour to talk to people out there and bring people mm -hmm. inside. Hashtag easy. E -S easy. E A S Y. Easy. You're yeah. about to. I know. It's like, like, easy, easy. easy. So, hi. So, before we get people in, hi, uh, Arif Hazir98. What's going on? Igor Arux 9X. Hi, everybody. What's up? Hi, hi. Dark hi. Sus. 202. Dark, oh, Dark Jesus. Dark Jesus. Dark Jesus is different. Dark Sus is something else. Um, so, uh, we'll bring you guys in. Hashtag easy if you watch the movie this week and you want to talk about the big easy with us and tell us your favorite moments. I see the first person. I'm going to bring him in. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I can work this chat well. Okay. Let's see. Emperor Suzanne. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if she watched the film or not. Emperor Suzanne. Hello, Suzanne. How are you doing? Hi, Suzanne. Good to talk to you Hello. again. Good to talk to you. Um, so where are you calling in from again? Uh, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Awesome. Were you able to watch the Big Easy? So you're closer. You're close to the Big Easy. Have you ever been to New Orleans? Um, I just drove through there to, um, to see my brother graduate from um army school. Oh wow! Oh, that's Very nice. Cool. That's right. And what did you think yeah. about what did you think about the movie this week? It was okay. It was yeah. okay. Yeah. It was fun though. Did you have a yeah. good time watching it? Um, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. What was your what? favorite moments, or what moments didn't you not like? She likes the negative part. Um, so. No, I don't like the negative part. It's like not everyone <laughs> like it. Like some people like the film, some people don't. We just want to talk about it openly. So free. Let's talk about it. Let's yeah. go. Well, so, what did you like about the movie? Um. Uh. Well, uh, well, to me, nothing is easy. So <laughs> the big easy, uh, nothing is easy. The big easy. They call it the big easy because everyone's laid back. I guess I don't know. We gotta investigate. Why that? Why that? Is anybody knows why they call it big easy? Why they call it, like New why Orleans. New Orleans is big easy? You gotta go down there check it out. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, what, um, what's your favorite scene? I in the like, movie? Uh, um, I like I like that scene too. Um, the um, the uh, guitar scene uh, that you that you were just talking about. Yeah. I like that. I like that yeah, scene. I like that scene too. It was real charming. He was really cool. He was really cool. Yeah, yeah. he's a charming guy. What did yeah. you think about Ellen Barkin, the, the 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 main actress? Um, she she was okay. Yeah, yeah, she was strong. She was I think she she held up her own against you know a bunch of mm -hmm. men acting and she kind of held her own you can see her, the 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 strength in her as an actress and what she did and, and mm -hmm. it's no surprise that you know 30 plus years later and she's still working and still doing amazing exactly. amazing work right after yeah she is amazing yeah all right well emperor suzanne thank you so much for calling thank in for have calling a good week in. you too bye 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 for now Okay, we'll bring more people nice. in. More people Hashtag in. easy. Also, um, if you have not voted, you can vote on next week's movie. We'll be announcing by the end of uh, the stream. stream. And it's a, it's a steamy one next week. It's between uh, Basic Instinct and yeah. Fatal Attraction. Fatal so it's attraction. both psychological romance thrillers. Uh, I, I guess I should say for all the young ass people out there. Oh my God, they're so close. It's... Uh, I mean, it's it's rated R movies, and there, there's a lot of sexual content in both films. So if you're like hella young, like just you can skip this movie. But I think they're great. It's Thank I, you for saying. I want to say it now because I think we watch Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. I freaked, I freaked, out, freaked out, too. out. And then, hey, what's going on, Dante? Uh, so, um, where are we at? What's the what's the vote right now? The vote is. Uh, what are you looking? At? I want to know what the vote is. I'm not looking at you. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here is it. So oh, close. Basic close. instinct. Basic is... instinct is up like just a handful of votes. Yes. Just a handful of votes. So it's very close. Um. All right. We're gonna bring. We're gonna bring someone in. They're not really happy about Anne, but we're gonna bring them in because I see the hashtag easy. Hashtag easy for Peppa Booty Pepe. with the double zeros. <laughs> with the double O O O O O. <laughs> 
What are you at? I'm Connecting. Oh, I can't see anything. It's glitched. glitched. Uh, hi, Emily Bosco. In the hi, air. Emily. <laughs> My sister-in-law. What's going on? Uh, it's not... Should we bring Emily? I don't know. Emily, you I want to talk about the biggest? Would you, you want to talk about a biggest? Did you want to talk about the biggest? Come and talk about it. Yes, let's do it. Please just Anne. I'm not dissing Anne. I like Anne. I like Anne. What is? Oh that? my God, Peppa Booty. It's not coming. I'm gonna Come try to bring you in one more time. Peppa Booty. It's not. I want to hear your thoughts. Sorry, guys. Don't this internet. Is no, really it's nice. not my internet. Don't be going on. Peppa Booty. I want to hear your thoughts. Dante's internet is failing. I'm trying you everybody. again. What's good, Martin? Guys. Pre says it's connected. Oh, oh here he is. Got it. Here. <laughs> what is up? Where are you from, Peppa Booty? I'm from Texas, San Antonio. Yo, shout oh, out wow. to San Antonio. We were just in Texas. We, we were that's just a, we, in that's Texas. the only city we didn't see. We went yeah. Austin, oh, Dallas, that's rude. Houston, <laughs> drove through Lubbock. We was all over Amarillo. All we fun didn't... cities, and you didn't come to San Antonio. I heard that's San Antonio has the so best case. That's the reason we're going to go back to it does. it does. It does. And what's your name? I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So you've seen <laughs> the Big Easy, Sarah? Yes, I saw it. I probably shouldn't have because I'm literally 13. Oh my but... goodness. Okay, so you probably shouldn't watch basically <laughs> Cinder Bill Attraction next week, but you probably don't want to watch it. You did a lot to talk about. But so, let's talk. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. I Tell hate me. Anne. Give me your feelings. I'm going to say, I hate Anne. Damn, you hate Anne? She is, she got on my nerves. Like, what? Her, I mean, why? Yeah. She, she made me want to punch her. Break it down. Break it why? down. Why? Please tell time. us. I like it. Please give us more info. So she just made the weirdest facial expressions. Like I literally can't explain it. It's just the facial expressions. But like I liked every other character. Yeah, they were good. You, how would you like? Okay, I feel I'll, that we'll, we'll talk about Ellen Barkin. Too. Ellen Barkin. I think. I mean, I've always loved Ellen Barkin because I think she's sexy. I, a lot of people have complained about her. She's not the prettiest actress that stars I, in movies. I felt like, look, it's just the facial expressions she made. She was like I'm tough like, looking, tough. You just wasn't, it just didn't taste good to you. It didn't have a good taste to you. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I can see that. But to me, she's sexy to me. He thinks she's sexy. See, love, she's real sexy. <laughs> huh? The movie That's See Love, but you know, I so, didn't see the See Love. But she's tough, but like she holds her own up against all these guys. It's like a lot, I think. Yeah, like she's the, a boss. She's, she's the boss, boss, especially at that time in the 80s where they weren't getting a lot of women roles that yeah. were able to like properly right. rival the men mm -hmm. and Dennis Quaid is acting his ass off doing all kinds of shit and she's like holding her up. What do you think about Dennis Quaid in the movie? Young I, Dennis Quaid. I, like, I, like I like every other character except for Anne. Like all of them were literal bosses though. Like they were also powerful in their own way. And like the plot of the movie was a little bit hard to follow. But, yeah like, I was like what's going on? But by the end yeah. it kind of comes together. For sure. Yeah, yeah. The end, it all makes sense, but at the beginning, it's a little bit weird. I think it's because I fell asleep while watching it halfway through. <laughs> um, but then I watched the other half of it today. Oh, yeah. great! I great, fall great. asleep all the time. What? Now, have you ever been to New Orleans? Yes, I've been to New Orleans, but like I didn't stay there for very long. I think I drove through it, so it was do, sad. Do you understand why it's called the Big Easy, or do we have to all go back no. and investigate? No. <laughs> I need to investigate why they call it the big But I like that twang and that New Orleans kind of swag going on. Texas has its own little twang and swag also, which I'm not hearing in your voice. I literally, everyone says that. They're like, you're Texan. You should have an accent. I said, nope. I just say y'all. That's all. Y'all. I, I say y'all too. I like y'all. I say y'all. What's up, y'all? Uh, well, I'm glad you watched the movie, even though you're 13 now. You're watching movies with us. <laughs> are you a movie buff, or are you just kind of like rolling with us and just dig the idea, let's watch the movies? Yeah, but, I mean, I was like, I'm bored, let's watch this movie. Plus, I love, like, everything Avatar or whatever, so I was like, okay. Thank you. Oh, cool. I appreciate it. Well, I'm glad that, you know, I have Avatar fans out there, which I love and appreciate, but I'm a big movie buff, so I love to share all the stuff in the Avatar world, but I guess mm. another part of me is just kind of sharing my yeah. love for filmmaking and movies, so a little time to, you know, one, one day another week to talk about movies is great. Mm. It's well, a lot you. very interesting. So yeah. Oh cool. Well Aww, thank you so much. I appreciate you. it. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Cheers out to San Antonio. Okay. Thank you. What, what's the what's what's San Antonio's nickname? The city. The Alamo City. The Riverwalk City. It Ooh. could be Where is it? Is it in the west side or more south? Uh, 
it's like South Central. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been there, but I heard the Riverwalk is really beautiful. Um, obviously, it? Alamo is, you know, very famous. I remember in Pee, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Did mm -hmm. you watch that? They, I don't he think goes, I did. I he did. goes to San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to make it San Antonio. We got to make it San Antonio. We have to go do it. <laughs> All right, cheers. Okay, bye. Bye. Have a good way. Oh my God, Peppa Booty, so cute. Thirteen years old. What the heck? Thirteen years old, watching a Big Easy set. Oh, I know. There's she just can't some, stand there gonna be some character. teenagers that the Big Easy is super tame compared to uh, Basic Instinct or Fatal Attraction next week. But, I would, I was expecting what she will say. I don't like that the man character because because he's, like he's kind of sexist. So not, yeah, sex is in a little bit aggressive. But right now, people are like more careful of like aggressive yeah, guys. Yeah, he, he was being real kind of. If he's doing that in the right, at not this, this moment, day and age, you can't do that. People Although, will be like calling. He was doing it in a very charming way, though. Well, <laughs> he has a game. I'm telling you. He so has okay, a game. hashtag easy right now. If you watch the movie, you want to come here and talk to us about the film. We'd love to bring you in the chat. Hi, Miss Lukita. How you doing? Hi, I'm Dark Brandy. Jesus 202 back in the house. Dark Jesus. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Um, back drunk, buddy. Is that what you want me to say? I said okay. it. Yeah. I said it. Um, who, who's? Really okay, 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 Nicole. Nicole. Randy bored my half, my half of the movie. Oh, my God. Uh, she we watched half of the movie. No, she was bored half of the movie. When oh, no. Nicole, Nicole, what happened? Talk to us. Let's see what's popping. Hi, Nicole. Hello, Hi, Nicole. Hello, Welcome Hello. back. Welcome back. I see this um, is not one of the favorite movies you got to watch with us. <laughs> Let's what talk happened? about it. How, tell me about the movie. What did you feel about it? What you thinking? What was your favorite moments or disfavorite moments? Forget about a favorite moment. Uh, the favorite okay. moment? Like there was like two, like in the beginning, they were like singing in French with that Louisiana. Uh, yeah, cool. yeah, that was real. That was real, real feeling. I, I love those moments that they show New Orleans, New Orleans. The Neville Brothers were there, some other bands. It felt like such a real, they got the real sense of at least New Orleans at that time, 86, you know? But talk to me about your disgruntledness with the characters and Remy in particular. I saw it in the chat. <laughs> Um, honestly, in the beginning, it's like Remy, I think almost like, eh, like, in the olden days, like the guys, they have like sexes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was like, oh, Remy, my, uh, my older family members, oh, like, ah, I don't like this guy. Yeah, ain't that little swaggy, charming, sexist thing ain't working on you, huh, Nicole? No. Everybody out there, listen, you gotta <laughs> step to Nicole, don't be trying to step to her, no. Old Sorry. school sexist swaggy <laughs> stuff because that ain't rocking with her. <laughs> yeah. And what about Ellen Barkin? What do you think about Ellen Barkin? Oh, all right, you weren't impressed. You weren't too into it. You weren't 100 with this. You are one. not into that movie at all. Nicole, the energy I'm feeling from you is you were not with this particular <laughs> film 100%. <laughs> uh, that movie is, uh, actually made me sleepy. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! My God! That's why it's the big easy. So you can, it just puts you, it eases you to sleep. Eases you to sleep. Yeah, there was like I was mostly asleep until Remy pulled out the flare gun. I was like, wow. Oh, you like the action? Okay, all right. And then the coupe and the flying in the. I'm air. with you. It's not the most favorite film we watched here. Yeah. It came in. I mean, I think between Heat, Body Heat, and Big Easy, I think Body Heat's better. And we may go back to that later on. Yeah. Um, but I think it was still fun to watch, and I think the performances were fun more than it's, anything. Yes, its performance is fun, and uh, you also see the this corruption, of, like police, uh, the situation. You will see, like I mean, I I never been to New Orleans, mm -hmm. a so I don't know the cultural, I don't know the like local, the feelings you guys talking about. I don't see, but I only see like from outside of perspective. What I see is. I mean, it's just the like chemistry between this cops and this lady, and this cops, the the cop changed because of he fall in love with this girl, and he just stopped being taking money right. from the whatever. So basically, the whole idea is a bad guy changed because of the he fall in love with this bad girl. Boy, bad boy, not bad guy, bad boy. What we have a boy and the guy? What is that? Well, the guy? thing about the one thing I love about because I'm always, I'm an actor, I'm always looking at things through acting, right? So. 
what I remember liking about it when I was younger and even liking about it again now watching it because I'm looking at more like the acting of the actors. And Dennis Quaid was probably in his mid-20s at this time. So think about it. Like, I'm not 100% sure. We can look it up, 25, 26. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of young actors. And I was a young actor. We're all going there and doing this. And you're very rare you get to do a role that's like this kind of role. Who's the main guy in the movie. You hold it down. Everyone's bound down to you and everything like that. And on top of that, you're this Creole guy. And for this young actor to kind of do this really kind of like fabulous role, fabulous cop was just kind of like, I remember going, wow, man, this guy's really killing. That's really, really great. Where it's like serious, but it's also fun and flamboyant. And um, I just had a great time watching it back then and watching it again now. You know what I'm saying, Nicole? Am I talking too much, Nicole? Am I talking too much? Oh, I thought like, like face stuff. But, um, what was that? Sort of like, sort of zoned out a little bit. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. I'm always appreciate you watching movies. I love that you watch movies Mom, with us every week. Even though you don't like. Even ones you don't like, something you really like, I'm going to be interested to hear what you think about uh, Basic Instinct or Fail Attraction fail next attraction. week. Because please they're... vote. Uh, please vote. I already or... voted. You already voted? Did? Okay, what did you vote for? Which one did you vote for? Which one? Fatal Attraction? Yeah, Fatal Attraction is pretty uh, good. I love Fatal Attraction. I want a basic. It's intense. It's very sexual stuff, but I hope you get past it. If you're too young, don't watch that part of it. I'm going to reiterate. But the suspense aspect and what they did in the film and how it kind of has long-lasting relevancy. Um, I can't wait to talk. I want. can't wait to see what you think about that one compared to something like this. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> All right, Nicole, have a good week. Bye. Have a good week. Bye, Bye. Nicole. Okay. Hashtag easy. We got a few more. We got like another 15 minutes and we'll bring a, hopefully we'll bring a, two, three more people inside here to talk about the Big Easy here on Monday Cinema Club. And I really want to know why they call Big Easy. And hashtag easy if you know why they call New Orleans the Big Easy. Why they call we New Orleans the, the Big of Easy? Why want to Tommy Conn says Dante is my man. And I'm like, word. Um, so, here we go. Here we go. We have a new person. Easy. Easy peasy. Someone, Alvarez said, uh, 619 Alvarez to kiss him. Okay, kiss it to you. Basic instant How's it going? Hey. How are you doing? Hey, what's up? I'm doing good. How about you, you guys? Chilling. Good, How chilling. How are you? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling him from? Um, I'm calling him from San Diego. Oh, wow. San Diego. San Diego. South side? Uh, yeah, around the south side. I'm about like 20 minutes from Carlsbad, I would say. Oh, cool, cool, cool. cool. That's yeah. awesome. And your name is El Elgin? Elgin, yep. Elgin, Elgin. nice to meet you. So nice have, you, have you. you watched The Big Easy? Uh, no, I haven't. I was just wondering if I could hop on this live and see if you guys yeah. can share more information about it. Yeah, no, every Monday um, we watch movies. And the, the last one we watched this last week is called The Big Easy, which is okay. You can see, just check it out. It's like young Dennis Quaid, really fun role he played in the Creole Cop. But since you're new to, to Monday streams, we do this thing, me and Alice, called Monday Cinema Club. We're both filmmakers. And so we watch movies and we discuss it with people. Next week's okay. going to be either Basic Instinct or Fatal Attraction. So if you can catch one of those, which are both sexy kind of films, it'd be good to kind of have a – we just have conversations about it when people talk movies, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what no, do you like to do? Are you, are you creative at all? Are you in the creative world? Yeah. So, like, probably around three years ago, um, I ain't never seen two pretty – Whoa. Whoa! What happened? I was so so. Elgin, we lost you. <laughs> he was, I was about to say the most get... important thing. I know. That I was like, like, uh, that's what happened. Remember when we were watching Big Easy in your house, and then that movie, most important thing, and there's a stock. Dennis the dude. I'm gonna bring Dennis the dude in here because Dennis the dude came with a. Um, a big lecture. I don't know what happened. My dude left. Hopefully, we can get him back we on. We get back on. Elgin from San Diego. Dennis the dude hit us with some information on the Big Easy, yeah, the word, see. and I want to see if he wants to come on let's and talk see, about let's it. Let's see what he's saying. Dennis the dude. Dennis Connecting, the dude. Connecting, waiting for connection. Hi, bye, bye, Alex W. Love. Um, Dennis the dude's not saying anything. He's saying what the things that went by so fast. Said that life is easy compared to other big cities. Oh wow, is that a poem? That's not a poem. That's what De that's what Dennis like the said. Dennis the not joining us. I'm sorry. What happened? I don't know. Maybe he just want to drop information and not talk to us. Anyway, if you want to talk, if anyone's watched the Big Easy out there, 
please, please. um, uh, please. I'm still shaking. Please, uh, hashtag, hashtag be easy, easy right now. We're reading, we're all in here reading. <laughs> uh, my dude, Elgin said, I never seen two pretty best, and then it went out. I thought he was going to tell us a real crazy story. He might have pranked us. He got me if he did. Maybe. Uh, my bad, I fam. I need a haircut. It's no, no big deal. Dan is a dude. I need a haircut, too. I need to get my stuff tightened up. Um, so if you watch the film, Please. we can bring you in. Let's see if any, there's some people that requested. Should we grab someone that's requested? Yeah, sure. All right. Um, the first one? Doesn't matter. We'll, whichever you We don't know. It. We're just going to put it in there. People. He definitely pranked you. Okay, well I got pranked. Shout out to Elgin. It was pretty good. We were like, <laughs> I, I wanted to get get that story a little more, you know, a little more definition, definition of what was going on. Going on. It's fine. We got but I didn't even it's hear fine. the pretty best friend part. I want to hear. I want to hear that story. I was what like, I, I, I never seen two pretty best. That's what it said. Wait, are we connecting or not? We can't Don't connect tea? anybody. All my people. We're not connecting to nobody. Because Hi, Deck Hobo. What's going on? Why are you talking about my internet? Well, I'm just telling the truth. Look at what it, what's going on in here. I don't know. My internet is living that big, easy life. Did Nicole you... says New Orleans got its name as the Big Apple in the 1970s as it got popular. Maybe it's because of the carnival. Uh... Oh, like the Big Apple, the Big Easy. What's LA's? What's LA's name? Chill by? No, LA, Los Angeles. Angeles. City of. City of Angeles. City of Stars or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We don't have a we don't have a cool name. L.A. Hollywood. I mean Hollywood. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's there's better than. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's better things than Hollywood. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not from I here. I like the name The Big Easy though. So um, I don't know. I don't know if a lot of people watched the movie this week. City of Angels, City. styled by Joyce said. Well, yes, that's what we said. City, City of, of Angels. Angels. No, I said City of Stars, but City of Angels is correct. <laughs> yeah, you guys on, I was like, what, what's our name? Actually, City of Angels City is of sexy. Angels. I'm with City of Angels. Why is, is there sexy? a movie called City of Angels? Because it's like City and Angels. angels. It's all about girls. No, 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 it's about like something. Angels. Angels, you know? Sure. Guys can be angels. Huh? Angels are, it's not a sex, a sex Definition. Definition. But when we say angels, they usually you're imagining girls. You're just thinking of Victoria's Secret angels. No. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. What about in the Bible? There's like, hi, Dr. Show. <laughs> all, those, all those angels in the Bible are like mostly guys, gay girls. Have you read Bible? I grew up Catholic. I, I don't think things. so. Shout out to Australia. Um, I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. I ain't never seen two pretty <laughs> best friends. <laughs> Is Why are we talking about angels? Sex? I don't know. We're not meaning to. I'm trying to talk about the Big Easy. Um, I will anyone, try to investigate. If anyone out there watch Big Easy, we have, we have time easy. for one more person. One more person to join. You, you never told what is your favorite moment. Did you tell? Me City is Star. I said when he was singing. No, that's my favorite. Moment. I said it's also ironically my favorite moment too. Can you be something else? You don't ever listen to me. I do listen to you. Can you be something else? Okay, I don't know. So we may not have time for another guest. It's all good. We do have a time. Well, I don't know if anyone wants to watch the movie. Well, but doesn't matter. We're gonna take the last matter. five minutes and talk about the next movie. Let's go. Yes, me. Are you Chinese? No, I'm. Uh, I'm from China, but I'm not Chinese. You are I'm Chinese. Uyghur. It's a Can different you speak ethnicity. Mandarin? Yes, Mandarin is my second language. But were you I born in Japan. China? Were you born in China? I'm born in China. Yeah. Do you know that China they have like fifty six different ethnicities? I'm, I'm the sec I'm the I'm the one of those ethnicities called one of Oyghur. the fifty six. One of the fifty six. Tibetans. Tibetans, Mongolians, Mongolians Oyghurs. Oyghurs. So Are I'm there Oyghurs. any Filipinos in China? That's what I want to know. Um. Uh, have you ever seen a Filipino in China? No. I was there. <laughs> Are you? I went there. I shot a movie there. What were you doing? I was hanging out, representing the whole damn race. I don't think so. I don't think I will pay attention. Shout out to Uncle John, Patrick Charlie. Uncle John, hey. So next, okay, we got the, we got, a, we got, oh, shout out to Thailand. Shout out to uh, all Thailand? the people all the world. Oh, Plus, Thailand. Second, before we go, well, before we go, can you tell us the movie for next week? I thought we're talking about Oikers again. We are, but now we're talking about movies. All right, let's talk about so, movies. Let's talk about Big Easy. 
The Big Easy. Well, I'm glad that people watched The Big Easy. Like I said, I don't know if it was my, one of my best favorite films of all time that we watched on Monday, Monday Cinema Club, but it's okay because it's another movie next I week. I liked it. I liked the character. I like the main What's character. What's the movie for next week? Next week. Should we, do you want to be announced right now? Yes. Next movie is La La Land. No, it's not. Don't. <laughs> See, that's what I got. City of Stars. Okay, what are we doing? It is Basic Instinct. Ooh, Basic Instinct. Day one. It's going to be a big it's one, so you close, guys. Though. It's so, so close, though. It was so close. It was less if than five did, bucks. Yeah, if you did. So cool. it's Basic Instinct. Yes. Sharon Stone. Michael Douglas. Yes. Uh, Have you watched it? Of course. Who hasn't watched Basic Instinct? Have you not Why? watched it? Have you not seen it? No. Why? I thought we were going to pick the movie. Yeah, I watched watch every movie. All no, you movies. did not. I watch all of them. You do not. The movie next week is Basic Instinct. If you're under like 17, like either don't watch it or ask so your I don't mom, have to watch it then. dad, and um, don't, don't play. <laughs> and um, so I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> basic nice. Instinct. So I can't wait to see what everyone says. But before we go, where y'all from? I, I saw a lot of people throw in the chat where you're from because I want to yes, see what, we, what we're all it, talking to people. It. I saw someone Throw from out black. Thailand. Shout out to Thailand. What does that eggplant represent? Shout out to country. eggplant land. Eggplant. Um, <laughs> uh, I saw someone from England. So shout out to England. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, what, the Peppa Booty. Peppa Booty, you're only 13. <laughs> no, 13. No, 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 no. Peppa no, 13. Booty. Talk to somebody. Either if you're Thailand. I see people from Thailand. Thailand. Shout out to Thailand. Uh, New Jersey, New shout Jersey. out to New Jersey, shout out to Scotland. Ooh, Scotland, Canada. Canada. Oceanside, San Diego, there's a, people, a bunch of people oh, from Oh, like Toronto. 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 T dot, the six, what's up? From San Francisco, Seattle, San Francisco. Francisco. North Carolina. Yeah, shout out to oh Melbourne, Australia, all the time is down here. Damn. I love how our cinema is so international. And I, like, and I like it's all over America, too. I know, Obviously. it's all over America and all over the world. Sacrifice LA, Valley, Uncle Sacrifice John. Valley. Hey, <laughs> New York to the house. L.A. So uh, thank you, guys. This is Shout Out to the Fire Nation. Shout out LA, to City of Angels. City of Angels. Shout out to the Big Easy. Shout out to the Big Easy. Hope you guys are staying safe yeah. out there. Um, <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great week. Watch Basic Instinct. It's a, this is a juicy one. This is a juicy one, you guys. If you're a 17, like me. Just kidding. <laughs> if you're under 17, don't so watch it. Don't Ask your parents. Ask or if your you parents. do watch it, don't tell nobody I told you to watch it. <laughs> oh my god, you can't just say I'm that. I'm just saying, where is it? Parents, North Carolina, parents, shout out. This kid is not a Hawaii. Not a influence. That's my Hawaii. favorite place in the world. I thought you got to move to Hawaii. Yo, what's up to Neverland? Shout out to Neverland. Neverland, back. Pola? I'm from Pola. Pola. Poland, Poland or Pola? Africa. Oh, Africa. Africa. Damn. All over the place. Shout out to Africa. I got to go to uh, All over the place. another event I got to run to. So have a great week. See you guys next week. See you guys next, next week. Uh, Thank you for time. joining us. And uh, we'll see you then. See you then. Cheers. All right. Next week, we're going to watch Basic Instinct. Basic Instinct. Get ready. Instinct. It's kind of get crazy ready. and sexy. You get ready. Say uh, bye, Alice. All right. Bye, guys. Ho, ho.